So here to help break down what happens next in this case, let's bring in former FBI agent Doug Coons. Doug, thank you so much uh, for being here with us. I know you have spent a lot of time examining this case. Did you see this coming? Uh, this last year, I would say yes. Prior to that, it was it seemed to be getting pretty stale. Um, hats off to these guys, the, the state police, the locals, the FBI. Everybody that's been involved with this, they never gave up the, the diligence and just the, the sheer amount of tips that were covered, the hard work involved, hats off to those guys. You know, and as we said, this is a case we've been following closely here at News Nation. I know I've personally been interested in this. Never heard this name before, though. Had Richard Allen ever been on your radar? Because I know his name was never mentioned publicly <clears> before. <throat> It had not been on my radar or, or anyone's that I know of. Now, I've never been personally involved in this investigation as law enforcement. Uh, and when I retired uh, about four years ago, we, we continued to get some tips into to my private aid, agency that we would pass on. But no, that's not a name I've ever heard come up. Well, so Doug, we, you know, Kelly kind of walked us through the ins and outs of this case now more than five years in the making. Um, this arrest coming now, why now? Some piece of information has come in, some piece of evidence has been found. Uh, I can only speculate like everybody else, but it seems to be uh, after the arrest of this, this Kagan Klein uh, that, that it seemed like they were kind of homing in on, on something. So I don't know if he's even still connected or not. Uh, I hate to speculate, but uh, it just seems like there, there's probably some sort of connection. Yeah, and I, I do want to ask you uh, more about Kagan, but, you know, it's possible that uh, Richard Allen, who, again, obviously has not been found guilty, hasn't even been named officially by police, but, you know, he's now under arrest, could have been on the run at this point for more than five years, living among the community. Did authorities maybe more know more than, than they let on? Oh, I'm sure they need more than, than they made public. Uh, when you're investigating something like this, the only time you're going to release information to the public is if you think it can help you uh, resolve this case. And I know everybody wants to know, but there's just no good reason to put out information unless you think it, it will help bring in tips or, or spark somebody's memory or something like that. So most likely they've been keeping some bits of information close to the vest and it's now culminated in this arrest. And of course that makes sense. You know, and we have heard of these recent FBI searches, potential suspects investigators have been looking into. As Kelly mentioned, this, this man, Kagan Klein, he has been a focus of the investigation. I want to play for you what Doug Carter with Indiana <clears throat> State Police said about Klein to our Rich McHugh back in February. Did Abby and Libby communicate with this profile? I, I'm not going to talk about that, but I am going to say that we, we learned a tremendous amount through that particular investigative course. What can you tell me about this man who has been arrested, the creator of this profile, Keegan Klein? All I can say about Keegan is that entire issue uh, and the entire release has allowed us uh, to glean significant investigative leads. All right, so Doug, with your expertise, help us read between the lines here. Is there more going on? Could Klein still be connected? It's possible, uh, just speculating, of course, here, but it, it seems likely to me based on my professional experience. Um, you know, he's got his own issues with the charges that he's facing, and, and perhaps he had, he provided the information that led to this arrest and, and could be given some credit, you know. Um, it's hard to say, but I would think uh, it's very likely. Yes, yeah, so many people interested in this case, and it looks like now, finally, uh, moving forward. Former FBI agent Doug Coons, we thank you, sir, so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.